What is up YouTube? Listen back to the video today. We're doing a closet tour. I'll be showing y'all what I have in my closet, everything from the head to my toes. And yeah. Before we get started, let me show y'all what I got on. I got a normal black tee. I got some shorts, you know, we're in the summer, the Nike socks, and then some crocs. Something simple. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so first we're gonna be doing the shirt, the t-shirt. Alright, come with me. Alright, so the first shirt I will be showing y'all is this Columbia jersey I have. I recently got this one. It was a gift. If y'all didn't know I'm Colombian, I also got the flag over there. Secondly, we got this Minion t-shirt. It's simple, normal. I uh, got this, oh, right here, that's the logo. It's a Gabe's, it's a store, I know y'all know it. I'm showing y'all what I wear the most. So yeah. As the next t-shirt, I got the typical two-pack t-shirt. Don't trust nobody. I don't think y'all seen it before, it's from Walmart. I seen a lot of people wearing it all ages so yeah i also have one y'all have also seen it in other videos i wore before we got this puma shirt in the navy color i also got it in black i like very simple simple stuff i don't know y'all realize but yeah just like a little logo and something so yeah all right next up we got another one more shirt this is noob dog you know him is that him as a dj i think from his last album he dropped you know, another Walmart shirt, something simple. I, I haven't seen this one around that much though. All right, last but not least, we got this Carface T, my favorite movie. Recently got this one. It was from a store, I think it's called DTLR at the mall. And yeah, those are all my t-shirts. At least the ones that were the most. The rest I wear like, like this, just typical black tees. So yeah, those are my t-shirts. All right, moving on, we got the jeans. One of my favorite parts when getting dressed, I like to match my shirt with my jeans or my shoes, you know. So when it comes to the jeans, here I have a, a pair of purple jeans. Recently got these two in the black. Black my favorite color when it comes to dressing. I think in general too, you know. These are really thick. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's a really thick quality. They're heavy, so yeah. A bit of fresh jeans I'll be showing y'all. Next up, we got a pair of True Religions. I know, I'm an egg, of course, I gotta have a True Religion. I know. So, here is a blue denim, you know, baggy. Just how I like my style. I like the details on it, because look, right here. I don't got like, right there. Like, so, I like details. I like the color, I like the quality, especially. So, yeah. That's what I like about this brand. I will see a lot about it in this video. Next up, we got a pair of khakis. You know, these once again, come from Walmart. Not too expensive, but really comfy. I like them. I like the baggy look it gives, even though it's not even oversized or nothing. This is a cargo pen. I think I will be getting more of these. I like them. We got another pair of True Religions. These are, what are these? I don't know. These are more, you know, True to out, maybe not true to size, but like slim. They're not as baggy as the other ones. Again, you got the, the quality on it. That's what I really like about it. Right here in the stitching, one of my favorite parts when it comes to true religion. Got these a couple months ago, honestly. All right, we got a pair of Levi's 501s and in, in a color white. I'm not. I'm not really a fan of wearing white jeans. I really don't wear these as much. But when I do, I try to match them. You know, normally black and white is what I go for. You know, the typical five of ones you see out in the street, but I got them in white. Then, as I said earlier, True Religion again. I think I have seen this in uh, previous videos when I have done fit checks. But yeah, got these. I think this was my first pair of True Religions I ever got. They got the butt on in black. Once again, the quality. Exactly what I go for. Perfect stitching. Here we got another Levi's. I think. Yeah, another 501s. 
in a blue, dark blue color. I don't tend to wear these as much. I'm not sure, so I'm not so sure why, but. And then right here, we got more jeans, you know, some blue jeans, some black jeans, but these, these are really skinny jeans. Back then, I used to wear skinny jeans. Now, I don't really like those, so yeah, I don't really wear them anymore. When it comes to shorts and sweatpants, I don't wear nothing too crazy. You know, the typical Walmart, I don't know, Target sweatpants so, or chores. I don't really like wear those as much or even worry about them that like like that. So, you know, not even making it a whole um, section. I don't think it's needed. And these are like the most memorable shorts I have. All right, now we got the belts. I got right here, True Religion belt black and gold right here here's my size in case you wonder what size i wear 32 right there this is a a leather belt i can see right here look, i don't know if it shows but i got a couple like marks i wear this one pretty often and yeah here we got another um trilogy belt i think this is typical i've seen it often but yeah this one i used to wear a lot it has marks and everything now rarely wear it but like yeah i might even get another one i'm not i'm not sure as the last belt we have a bb bb belt which y'all have seen before too this cold phase on it it broke if y'all remember i'll put a clip but if y'all remember it had a rose right here it's on that bb hold on girl that bb that down shiny which i'm not so sure how it felt but so this one for some reason is a size 34. It's a size 34. It fits me. Well, I don't know. It's definitely my favorite belt. And I will be looking forward to getting more of these. All right, I will be leaving the best for last, which in my opinion, I think y'all already know what it is. But I won't spoil y'all because y'all don't know. Right now we got the hats, the little, the little hats right here. Y'all seen this before I wore it. In the last video, where the entrance V game, shout out to V game. But yeah, this one was the first kind of hat like this that I got. This is from Paxson. I don't know. Yeah, y'all probably know that store. I used to wear a lot of stuff from there, but ever since my stock and the change, I stopped wearing them. I started liking more basic stuff and like one color, maybe a little logo, and that's it. Just those other t shirts that they got a lot of stuff in it. But here we have another one. There's a purple one really don't wear this one like that bought this in new york in the middle of the street so yeah it didn't it was like 10 bucks i think so yeah it's pretty cool though i don't even know what y'all think about it and then right here we got this one which i have never wore it was a gift but to be honest i don't really like it so i don't wear it like that and now i will be showing y'all my hats which will be appearing right here right here we got all the hats Y'all can see I have a bunch these. I don't tend to wear hats that much, but I tend to buy them. Because I really, I'm a fan of them. Starting off, we got a, a Jordan hat. Brown. The black. Loud logo. I'm really a big fan of this. Probably one of my favorites. You know, I'm going to leave it on for the rest of the video. Because I really like this one. We got for red socks. And the color red, of course. Fitted. I tend to wear fitted on. And... I like this, that like true to size, or I don't know what this call. What is it called? I don't know. I don't know what this call. But I don't like snapback. Other thing, I don't like snapback. I do have some snapbacks, but I don't really like them. New York Yankees yellow hat. I say said it's a snapback, and if you if you guess right, I don't really wear this one like that for the same reason. I don't like snapback. Got a Nike black and white hat. This the quality on it. I don't know if y'all can tell what kind of quality this is, but it's like, like cotton or something like that. I don't know. All, all they had is like that. I don't know if y'all can really see it. But once again, it's a snapback, so I don't really wear it. I just don't like it because it, it feels different and it doesn't feel like tight to my head, I think. I know you can like, you know, measure it, but I don't know, it's not the same. Here we have some LA hat and a baby blue color. Once again, it's a snap bag. I don't gotta say much about it. It's just another hat that I had. Another New York Yankees white hat. Again, snap bag. Just like the navy blue one was also a gift. Not for me to complain about it. I'll take it and I'll set it. Another LA gray hat. I like I like this. This this uh, I don't know. 
and it shines and this thing on top of it. I really like it. And then it has Dodgers right here. This is this, this is not back, but I do wear this one a little more than the other ones. I'm not so sure if I'm picky or what, but I like this one. It is a snapback, back, but I do wear it. Next on the list, we got this. I have never worn this before for the reason that I don't know how to style this. Like, never really tried. Like, I try to match at least one color, but I, I, I'm not really so sure how, how I could wear this. The same reason why I haven't worn it. It's also a snapback, but I don't even think I've tried it on, to be honest. So, a Jordan hat, another Michael Jordan hat, just like this one I got on. All black. Well, like the thing is, it's a snapback. Most of these, not most, well, some of them are a gift. Most of the snapbacks were a gift. The ones they're wearing, I probably bought them. Some of this, I just, I don't know. It was before that I really got into like style and fashion and all of that. I don't consider myself as the biggest style fan or like the biggest fashion. I dress the best, but I do consider myself that I dress good. So, you know, that's why I have a bunch of snapbacks. Personally, I don't like them anymore. Maybe I did back then. This is this is a, a Colombia hat. It's in Spanish. It says here, you like the hangout, something like that. I definitely do not wear this first because it's poor quality, to be honest. And I don't know, you know I think I can tell why I don't wear it. This is a Colombian team. Uh, it's really old. Same reason, poor quality, and I wouldn't even wear this. We have a LA Lakers hat. I do like this one. The only thing is, once again, snap back. So, can't say much about it. I do like the gray and the yellow. I was gonna wear this the other day, and then I tried it on, and the, the quality on the back of my head with the snap thing. Uh, got a yellow, did I just say yellow? A white hat. I don't know what this is, what logo this is. So this is some team, it says. You know, I got the NFL logo on the back. I'm guessing this is Washington, or I mean, I don't know. But, you know, this is, what is this called? It's not a snapback, what is it? Well, it's a fitted, but you know, this one, I do like it. All right, last but not least, we got a black New York Yankees hat. First hat I got, the one I wear the most. It's dirty, cause I wear it a lot. It's worn out. This thing was broken at some point. I don't know how it's not anymore. They got some marks over here. I probably can't tell because it's a black hat. This is my favorite one with the gray bottom. I do six four with that in my, my hats. Um, yeah. All right, next we got the hoodies. Another one, if not my favorite part. Well, no, not my favorite part, definitely not. Second or third favorite part when it comes to getting dressed, my hoodies right here. We got a purple, purple hoodie. Gotta say, I got this like, I'm not so sure how long I got, but like a week or two, maybe three. No, not even that long, like two weeks ago. And I haven't worried, we're in the middle of the summer. And yes, I might be thinking I'm crazy buying hoodies in the middle of the summer, but that's how I am. I don't buy hoodies in the winter, I, want, I buy hoodies in the summer. We got this Champion City. I'm not gonna show the front because the little things are messed up. Uh, it was really old. It's been one of like, 2020s. Next, we got a denim tears hoodie. One of my favorite ones. I really dream of having one of these hoodies. Y'all seen it in the videos before. The Drake and Kendrick Lamar this. That's when I wore it. You know. We got a cookie hoodie. You know. Cookie brand. Trend and all of that. I got a hoodie from them. I gotta say, this the quality on this hoodie surprised me. To be honest, I was looking for something not too expensive but not too cheap and honestly what i got i think is worth more than what i paid so happy with it like the details on the hoodie i gotta say this is a uh, leather like this right here it's cotton but this is leather right here which really surprised me because it, it heats up your head when you have the hood and I, so it's really good i don't know what this what they need to have this but it looks cool oh it says cookies i didn't even realize that Realize that right here with y'all, I don't know if y'all can see. It says cookies in the little tag right here, but all right. And then clearly this, I don't know what material or how to call this, but you know, it says cookies right here. A normal dab, 
Step up, y'all seen it before. Step up again, nothing too crazy. This jacket, I gotta say, I used to love to wear this back then. It's an Adidas jacket. Yep, I know. Recently wore this for the reaction. First true religion hoodie, and the only one y'all will see in this video. No, the black one I had, I sold it because it didn't fit me anymore. So here we got the true religion. And then, of course, we got the Buddha on the back. On the, this is like a cream color. Got the Adidas sweater, which I personally like a lot. It's the only sweater I have. I like the colors they matching. I wore this, I think, like twice even or three times. I don't know. I like to wear it. I like to match it with some shoes. It looks cool, but I'm not really a fan of sweaters. That's why I don't really have that many. But I saw this and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. I forgot I had this hoodie. All pink hoodie. It's, I got this uh, Marshall, so, you know, the quality isn't great. But it's just a simple, plain pink hoodie. I like it. I really like it. All right, moving on to the jackets. I have a jean jacket. I think I wore this once only. I don't know if I would wear this nowadays. I got this a couple years ago. So I don't know how would, how would this go. It says good right here. And it says fortune on the other side. It says your life will be no better than the plans you make and the action you take. You are the architect and the builder of your own life, fortune, and destiny. Nice, I had never read that before. I'm speaking facts, I'm not gonna lie, those are bars. Red puffer, you know, for the winter. Can't too, can't say too much about it. This isn't a hoodie or nothing. I forgot to show y'all this when it came to the shirt. I, I only forgot I had this. Michael Jordan jersey, UNC, North Carolina, you know, 23. Last in the video, my shoes. Probably what I spend the most money on. Probably what every paycheck goes into my shoes. I'm a really sneakerhead. I don't know if y'all can see all the boxes on here. The boxes are up there too. The last most important part of my outfit, my shoes, what I got, what I'm rocking. And yeah, all right, let's start off with something simple. Then we'll be spicing it up. We got these Adidas. I don't wear them anymore. Because, you know, these were like back back then when I wasn't even into, into shoes. It's just that these are like really big ass shoes. So, people think they're Yeezy, some type of Yeezy, but no, they're just like a run, random Adidas design, so I don't know. We have some Supreme Earth Forces. I do gotta say, these are really beat up. I can tell these, these look yellow. Like, they're not even, they're not even wearing anymore. They yellow now. So yeah, they're really beat up. They're really old. I haven't worn these in a long ass time. But yeah, we got some phone runners. Some people love them. Some other people hate them. People compare them to Crocs. Me presently, if we're gonna stay in the crib, we're just gonna like you know move around. I have these literally. I feel like these are like the best. You just slide your foot in it. They got the, the sport mode and everything. So I feel like if you're gonna be inside the house these will be this option but when it comes to going outside i feel like these will be the ones these are really comfortable too we got some jordan threes i think these are called the racing blues if i'm not mistaken these are a really old pair a couple years with me really beat up too i lost these at some point got them back going in order i don't know what i have really these bottom ones are the ones i don't wear the most we got a gift it was a gift from my aunt. These are some Foot Locker Jordans. I know what I'm talking about. Don't wear these, honestly. I haven't worn these in like a, like a year or two, but appreciate you all for getting me these. All right, right here, I feel like these two, there's a need of showing y'all. This is another Foot Locker Jordans, and those are some party shoes. I need for me to show you that. Then we went to the spicy. We got the Red Thunders. A lot of people love them. A lot of people have them. These in my 
these are the only pair of lag Jordan 4s that I have so really like these a lot got these I think like a year or two ago but honestly one of my favorite Jordan Jordan 4 silhouette or colorway I was saying not silhouette colorway light in Jordan 4s yellow radiant craziness everything and sneaker you could ask for it. got these uh last summer actually i got these last summer right before school started i think uh i love the way this is it just, it just pops out it just stands out back then i really liked them i was like nah i would never get those those are too much nowadays it's one of my favorites too just look look this like the camera's far away and i still see them like the way you stand out they're great love them and the everyone and they mama got them from air forces chilling simple nothing too crazy you know i don't know what some people hate on them but these are literally one of the best sneakers ever the only pair of jordan fives in my collection when i got these i was trying to go for something else something different something new in my closet something new to add to it that i didn't have so yeah these are some cream colorway these are the ones i got to match with the cookie city remember i said that earlier so yeah I like these i like the way this quality looks rough it looks different i don't know one of my favorite pairs of shoes that i got is the jordan 11 what are these called i think the jordan 11 wait what are these called i think i don't know hmm, i forgot the name of these but y'all right, know what i'm talking about y'all seen these i love these right here the gold and the Jordan doing the fly, love it. The Midnight Navies Jordan Four, y'all can see these are really dirty. I recently wore these to go. Uh, what did I do? It was like a, it was like a Campbell like game. Yeah, these are really worn. I was I'm spo I was supposed to clean them the next day, but I never did. So right now they're really dirty. I'll show you another video when I clean them. How clean they look. Military blacks. First pair of Jordan 4 that I got. Again, black and white. Y'all ain't get it. I don't know what you're doing. I did switch the um the laces on this one. The laces, I got one black and one yellow. I mean, one black and one white. This is always really yellow. The Jordan 4 metallic gold. These recently came out too. Right here. Y'all can see. Love this pair. It's in a cream colorway too. I love how they look on the loop right here. How the gold looks with the with the cream. These remind me of the um, Jordan 4 of white. Which this is like the most similar to it. Honestly, love it. It's amazing, it's just an amazing pair. I don't know how much is the overall cost of it. Y'all will be seeing it in the video. I will do the math later. But for right now, I don't know. It will be right here, maybe in the corner or something. But yeah, that was my closet tour. That's all I have. That's what I wear in the, the most. And yeah, if y'all would like to see more videos like this, I don't know. But maybe look into someone else's closet or something. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. This was Solstice Sammy's closet tour. And I will catch y'all in the next one.